Hello everyone, welcome to the Geek Covered, I'm Penge, and this is a quick video just to answer a commonly asked question I have seen to do with Project High Rise, and that is, what are the broom closets for? So let's take a look and find out exactly what the broom closets are for in Project High Rise. Okay, so I've loaded up a basic tower here, nothing very exciting, a few offices, a few shops, little things at the bottom, but a few of the uh, units over here, so these offices and this little so cafe outlet thing here, have become run down, as you can see by the sort of this mould kind of overlay they've got on them. So these units are run down and eventually the occupants of these units will complain and they'll start saying they don't like working in it run down and you send your maintenance guys out who are these fellas here. However, if you have a lot of units, this probably isn't so bad, but if you have a lot of units, obviously your two maintenance guys are going to be running around trying to fix all these things and spruce them back up. They're mending lifts and they're doing everything else as well. And they'll run out of time and then the people might leave. Broom closets slow down the rate at which units go like this. They slow down the rate at which units become dilapidated and run down. So for every broom closet that is on a floor, every unit on that floor will have a slower rate of sort of decay and therefore they'll need less maintenance. So your maintenance guys can get on with repairing lifts and, you know, sprucing up the ones that do need doing, but it'll give them more time to do that. So how do we build a broom closet? The first thing you need to do, you need to have Prestige 5 at least. If you don't have Prestige 5, you can't build these things anyway. So you go into your infrastructure button and you go into storage and you'll see this button here. So broom closet is this one here, but the minute it's greyed out, that's because you need this. So you need a supply room. So it says build a supply room for your buildings custodians. Each supply room supplies up to three broom closets. So we shall get one of those. They cost a thousand and I think, what was the upkeep? 400 per day. So they're not cheap. These are not cheap things to install. So let's put one just there. So we'll drop one of those in. And now I think if you go off and back on the button. No, I don't think because it's not built yet. So let's get that built. Okay, so the custodial supply room is finished. They've finished building it. It's got our little person. It's got Susan. She works there. But at the minute, it doesn't do anything. But now, if you go onto your uh, infrastructure button and storage, you can't build another custodial supply room until you've got eight prestige. And I believe that goes up every three. So I think it's then 11 and then 14 and 17 and so on. But for each custodial supply room you do have, you can build three broom closets. So nothing is having any effect at the minute because there aren't any broom closets in place. But we will be able to place one now. We can place three, in fact. So the best thing to do now is to determine where your heaviest foot traffic is. Because the more foot traffic that goes through your units, the more run down they get. So ideally, you want to work out where the most people are going because that's going to cause the most sort of dilapidation of your floors. So I think we shall click here and we shall put one of them on the ground floor, because a lot of people will come to the ground floor. One of them on that floor, because it's got the restaurants and shops and such like on it. And then I think we might as well put one on here as well, because that floor also looks a bit run down as well. Don't quite know why, I don't imagine that gets any more foot traffic, but there we go. So right, we shall wait for those to be built. They need power and water so it depends how you've built your tower i put them next to here this time around next to the water closet so that i don't have to drag water across the whole length of the floor just to supply a closet on the very end of the building it depends how you've built your tower but as long as they've got electricity and water they will work so let's plumb them in and let's see what happens okay so the three broom closets are complete there we go and they've each got a broom or a mop possibly in them and a little cleaner thing and a sink and all that kind of jazz Essentially, they're just little cupboard for the cleaners to go into, I think, and sort of tidy their stuff up. And down here in the custodial supply room, you will see that there are three mops with buckets or brooms, possibly, to reflect that you have now built three of these. So this custodial supply room is now full. There are no more available broom closets that you can apply to this particular room. So that's that maxed out. And now the three floors with those broom closets on will degrade slower. So the degradation of these offices on this floor, all the shops and bits and bobs on this floor, and the sort of shops and the restaurant, whatever, on this floor, will degrade slower. It doesn't, however, repair the damage that's already done. You still need to send your guys out to repair these units, because they are still run down. It doesn't clean them up once they've become run down. But once they're done, these three floors all the way along the whole building as well. If you have a very wide tower, it will cover everything. It will cover the whole floor. It frees up time for these guys because those units are going to run down less. These guys 
your poor maintenance guys can then go and spend more time on other floors, repairing the other offices than whatever else is on floors that don't have a broom closet, or repairing the lifts and stuff, which is arguably more important. It depends how your tower's built. I don't know if you're using stairs or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it frees up their time. So they are a good thing. They are a, a particularly valuable addition to a tower. Maybe not so much in a smaller tower like this, because these guys aren't so pushed for business and sort of stuff to do. But in a bigger tower, particularly a tower with lots and lots of lifts and different lift shafts and stuff, you don't have many maintenance people. So really, the lifts go wrong quite a lot. You want your maintenance guys working on the lifts and less repairing and sort of sprucing up the offices that become run down. So in larger in larger towers, they become particularly invaluable. So that's what broom closets do in Project High Rise. Very quick recap. Once you get to five prestige, you can build a custodial supply room. That lets you build three broom closets. Broom closets and the custodial supply room both need to be supplied with electricity and water. And once you have a broom closet on a particular floor, it will reduce the speed at which the units on that floor will become run down and end up a bit like this, which in turn means your maintenance guys spend less time repairing these units and more time doing other stuff like repairing the lifts and such like. So hopefully that video was of some use to you. If it was, please like, subscribe, and maybe leave some comments as well. Just tell me what you thought. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. You can be the last accounting office. City tax offices. Boo, tax man. Yeah, you look busy. Is it a quiet day at Bedrock Insurance, is it? Is he going to use the stairs, or is he going to be a lazy beggar? Yeah, you lazy ass. And all the lights are on. And I noticed that everyone has left their lights on. I'm paying for this electricity, you gets.